So tonight I have a very urgent message for the Divine Feminine. This message is very specific and may not resonate with everyone, but just take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that don't. Okay, so I'm getting a very specific message about a Divine Feminine who has proved everyone wrong. Okay, and because you have proved everyone wrong, your true identity is being revealed or will be revealed in the perfect time, I'm specifically picking up on a Divine Feminine who is extremely tired. Okay, you feel as if you want to give up. You have been extremely intentional about living your life in a certain way. You have put your energy towards expanding your life. You have definitely been intentional about breaking generational curses off of your family. And it almost feels as if the more you take this step towards the light, the more the darkness seems to cloud over you here. And I'm getting that this darkness is specifically tied to people who are in your life here. Your core relationships, I'm getting smear campaign. Okay, I'm getting that this divine feminine, you may have lost out on a lot of core relationships and a lot of bonds due to misinformation, due to people intentionally smearing your name down, right? Just lying. Okay, um, being very strategic about throwing dirt on you, being very strategic about other people not getting to know your real, raw, authentic self. And I'm getting that you went through a very, very painful process in navigating these relationships because you had a lot of history with these people. You were at a place where you were valuing the time, the history, okay, over the quality of these relationships. But what's happened recently is that God has changed your name, Divine Feminine. You're not the same. Every fiber in your being has been upgraded because God has been watching closely your internal process. God has watched you be placed in certain situations where you could have returned energy, okay? And instead of you returning energy, you simply removed yourself and you continued to attend to the things that God told you to tend to, okay? I'm getting that these core relationships really, really damaged you. Divine Feminine, okay? You saw a side to people that you never thought that you would see and you still try to love them anyway. You still try to love these people anyway. Some of these people turned into the lowest versions of themselves, and you thought in this moment you were asking yourself, were you crazy? Were you the only person who was noticing this? You know, you had other people who were witness to these things happening. They didn't say anything. People didn't back you up. You really were at this place where you felt as if you were going absolutely crazy. But the thing that I need you to know, Divine Feminine, is that God sees the world through your eyes. You are never alone. You may have felt like you were alone a lot in this journey for some of you. You got to a point in your journey where it was literally just you and God, you and God, and you had to reestablish this connection when you first, um, you know, started to embark on this journey. You felt very, very lonely. You missed the company of some of these people, even though you were truly alone in their presence. You had to learn how to be by yourself. You had to learn to trust your internal process. I want you to know that nothing that you encounter is by mistake. Everything is strategic. Okay, everything is strategic. So when you were in this process, you had to learn how to pray again. You had to learn how to listen out to hear God's voice. You had to learn how to watch for cues from the universe. You learned how to pick up on synchronicities you learned when you were hearing God's voice and when you were not hearing God's voice. All of these things were very, very strategic for where you are going. Okay, your true identity is being revealed. You are a divine F, a divine being. You are heavily blessed, divine feminine, heavily blessed, okay? And that is about to become evident to any person you have ever encountered on your journey. That's how powerful you are. Some of you have really doubted your power, even though you went through situation at the situation where you had no choice but to be strong. You had no one to rely on but yourself. And inside you still were telling yourself, you still were tapping into these self-limiting beliefs telling yourself that you were not good enough, that you didn't deserve this, that you didn't deserve that, and all the while your guides were literally fighting for you, bringing you to the next level here. Okay, everything had to happen the way that it did, and if you're in this position in your life right now, where you're trying to navigate this situation, just know that it will all make sense soon. Just know that if the people that you deem to be very important to you are shifting their mass are coming off, um, know that everything is happening for a purpose. Know that it's imperative for you to see these versions of those people. It's imperative for you to see their character for where you're going next. Just know that everything is by design.
Okay, I'm picking up this divine feminine. You literally were tested in every single area of your life. You were tested within your family dynamic. You were tested within your friend groups, your colleagues. Okay, your spirituality, your romantic relationships, even yourself. For some of you who went through, I'm getting there's a specific group of divine feminists who may be going through the dark night of the soul, or you went through it already. And there were days when you woke up and you didn't know who was looking back at you in the mirror. Okay, very scary process. And you had to continue to move through your spiritual teachings. You had to move through and navigate your lower self. Because where you are now, with your identity being shown to everyone else, oh my gosh, so many blessings are coming your way. You are being vindicated. Okay, I just got justice. Justice is being served because you passed this test for some of you. This was a long time coming. Okay, for some of you, you continuously held on to these people, continuously held on to these relationships because you valued the history, because your identity was wrapped up in these people for such a long time. And it was actually hard for you to let go and let God for you to just be in the presence of God. And now that you've been in, in this, in this stage of your life, you have cultivated these gifts. You know what God voice sound like, you know what your lower voice sounds like, you know, when you're walking into a room and you're, you, you look someone in the eyes and they're being genuine with you and their heart is speaking rather than their ego. Okay, you have been, your skills have been sharpened, your spiritual skills. See, people don't realize that there's loss to this land. Everything manifests in the spiritual world before it. It comes down into this, this physical realm here. Your spiritual skills have been sharpened. And so the test that you have coming up for you now, okay, it's all about this 3D world, but you have the spiritual knowledge, the spiritual skills to navigate down here. And you got to that point by being isolated. It was very strategic. God had to get you by yourself because you were about to get tricked out of your spot. These people were smearing you. These people were, you know, wrapping you up in all types of drama and really dragging your attention to a low vibrational place. Sometimes you have to really separate the energy from the person because a low vibrational energy can attach itself to someone you love just to trick you out of your spot. You know that now, Divine Feminine, you're extremely powerful, extremely magnetic, and so you have to think where you're about to go in your journey here. God had to put a level of protection around you. You had to get spiritually strong so that you would be able to discern who can come with you, who can't can come, who can't come with you, who you can show certain things to, who you can't show certain things to. Okay, some of you right now are being very, very intentional about being private about certain sectors of your life, because now you know everything that God gives you is not for everybody else. You know what's for you and you know what, what it is that you can share with other people. Some of you are just in this place where you were just willing to give of yourself. Give everything, everything, everything and never get anything back those days are over, Divine Feminine. You have proved everyone wrong, and the way that you did it was by listening to the Most High, by doing exactly what it was that you were told to do by being obedient, not by matching people's energy, because that's the thing. A lot of people put emphasis on matching energy, but matching energy can also trick you out of your spot, because instead of you staying in alignment with where it is that you're supposed to be, you have your energy meshed up with someone else's destiny, which then in turn can alter your own, so you are heavily protected, Divine Feminine, and your gods want you to know that at this stage of your life, your only task is to focus on your new life, this life that you have intentionally been creating from the inside out for some of you. You're looking around you and you're like, okay, I don't see these things in my life right now, but if you can feel it and if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands, you're being guided to keep pushing towards your new life. For some of you, this has already become evident for you and it's going to continue to grow and expand. But now you have a level of discernment for some of you. Your world is expanding way beyond your dreams, way beyond your wildest dreams. And you haven't even opened it up to anyone because it's between you and God. But you'll know when it's time for you to expand it, when it's time for you to open it, okay? But justice is here. And sometimes we want justice to be loud. We want it to be abrasive. We want it to be... Um, wow, I was about to say something else, yeah, but sometimes we want justice to be, you know, loud. It's not loud. Your justice at this time is for you to remove yourself from situations, from people, from places, from things that don't align with who you are supposed to be, who you are called to be. You're leaving justice to God, 
God is going to vindicate you. Like I said earlier, God sees the world through your eyes, so you're never forgotten. Everything that you have ever encountered has been seen, has been accounted for. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. A lot of you are attaching yourself to these people, or lingering around because you want to see the justice, because you want to witness the justice. A lot of times, justice is you separating yourself from these people. You are um, detaching your energy from their lives because you are a source. A lot of these people need a host. You are a host for a lot of these people. And the minute that you detach your energy, justice will be served. Sometimes it's that simple when you're that powerful, when you are the divine feminine, it's that simple. Your light is a blessing. Having you in, 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 in their lives is a blessing. You don't have to do much divine feminine. Okay, there were a lot of people who made you an option in their lives and you disconnected. And now these people have to live with their choice and they're unhappy about that. A lot of these people may be sending a lot of energy your way. Okay, make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure that you are protecting your energy. Just a simple prayer is enough. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with light energy. Okay, because some of these people are very, very upset. They're living in regret here. They were told the wrong thing about you. Okay, they knew deep down that that something wasn't aligning here, but they believed the lie they joined in. On the smear campaign, they played a part in bringing harm to you. Okay, in more ways than one for some of them. This is verbally. This could have been physically, emotionally. A lot of these people played a part in that, in this misinformation and misrepresenting your character. Okay, and now that they see you being abundantly blessed, now that they see you elevating your life expanding, some people may not have um, a very, you know, positive reaction to that because they know that there's no coming back. So yes, if you resonated with this message, you definitely have proved everyone wrong. Your true self, your true identity has been revealed at the most perfect time. And it's the most perfect time because it is after God has revealed these people to you. Okay, so if you're a divine feminine who was hurt, you were wondering why you were going through things, why people were turning on you, why people were breaking your heart, by people you felt like people were breaking you down internally. Here, this is because you needed to know the content of these people's character before you move to your next level. Okay, you have been upgraded by God. Your name has been changed for some of you. You've actually changed your name. You've given yourself a spiritual name. Um, you've done something to signify this upgrade, this spiritual upgrade in your life. But everything happened by design. Nothing was a mistake. Your guides need you to know that you are heavily protected, that they are there. You can call on them anytime that you need them, okay? And if you're at this place where you're ready to expand your world acts for that, that asks for you to be aligned with people who are on the same path as you, or people who are further along on their journey here, okay? But yes, if you resonated with this message, you have passed the test you were tested in every area of your life, and you were at this place where you felt like you were ready to give up. You didn't understand why God was taking you through this process. And now you know you are very special, you are very gifted, you have a calling on your life here. You are chosen to do great things in this lifetime. So when you get up and you pray in the morning, thank God, say thank you for choosing me to do great things in this lifetime. Thank you. I'm ready. Okay, so you resonated with this message. Then just type I'm ready in the comment box down below if you even got this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, these messages come to me randomly and I have to wait until I get the green light to share these messages here. But this one... I'm guessing there may have been a lot of divine feminines who were going through this smear campaign. You may have been dealing with narcissists in your life, if that resonates with you as well. Um, whether in your family, your relationships, you may have been tied to these people in some kind of way, and you're breaking free, or you're trying to figure out why people are doing this to you, and God wants you to know that you know your true identity is going to be revealed to these people. You don't have to do anything okay because I'm definitely getting a divine feminine who feels as if you need to prove to people that you're not this bad person. You know that people try to smear you, to be that you have to prove yourself, you have to overcompensate, you have to do a lot, you have to say a lot, you're being guided to, just be, you be your authentic self, God is going to vindicate you. Okay, your guides want you to focus on your new life, that is the only thing you have to do at this time, they've already made their choice and now they have to live with their choice. Okay, justice has been served. 
you've definitely proved everyone wrong and everything is going to make sense very, very soon. So this is the message that I have for you all tonight. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.